What's up everybody? Jason from Heap of Jeep. Uh, just a quick video today. There's a ton of them on the internet about sea foaming your engine, but uh, I need to do it to the 96 here because I'm getting a bit of a, a spark knock when I go up hills, which generally means either your timing's off or there's some carbon buildup in the cylinders and uh, without having to pull off the head and scrape the cylinders off by hand, um, sea foam might be the next best option try and get some of that out of there so uh, I'm gonna do it to the 96 and uh, see if that will help with the spark knock and figured I'd take a quick video while I was doing it just so uh, there was another one on the web showing you how to sea foam an engine let's get to it there's a couple of ways to put this into your engine one is to go through the vacuum lines which is okay and I could probably do that but I'm just gonna pour it right down into the throttle body here uh, you just have to do it slow so you don't bog out the engine, but I think that's the way I'm going to go. So let me get it started and uh, we'll dump some sea foam in. Now I just got home from work so the engine's nice and hot, so hopefully this will work uh, the best it can. You can do it in a cold engine, but I don't think it works quite as well. So uh, now we're going to dump it in and we're just going to go as slow as we can so we don't bog out the engine. Uh, you don't do it in a continuous stream, dump a little, let it, the engine absorb it, and then do a little more, let the engine absorb it, etc. We're going to do about a third to a half of the can. As soon as you're done, you shut off the engine. Now we get to wait 15 minutes for that to uh, try and break up some of the carbon in the cylinders there. And I'm going to go dump the rest of this can into the fuel tank. And while we're waiting these 15 minutes, I'll go ahead and put the uh, airbox hose back together here. All right, only 14 minutes to go. <sighs> narwhals, narwhals, sitting in the ocean, making a commotion, because they are so awesome. Near? Far near. <sighs> no, 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 no. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Uh. Well, while I'm still waiting for the uh, 15 minutes to go by, um, let me just tell you, I chose today to do it uh, because. It's kind of windy today. There's a nice breeze going and when the smoke starts pouring out of the tailpipe here in a minute It's it's a very pungent smell um, and I've got some neighbors and I didn't want to uh, To have it lingering around on a breeze free day. So nice and windy. It'll carry it away quickly They may come and yell at me anyways hey, What was that smell? But um, at least it'll be carried off rather quickly today all right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's start her up. And then we're going to hold the throttle at about 2,000 to 2,500 RPM, pretty steady. You don't want to rev it up and down. Just hold it steady somewhere right around there. And then once all the smoke is gone, we're going to take it for a quick test drive. I don't think I have any big enough hills near my house to uh, see if the spark knock is gone yet. I'll find that out tomorrow when I head into work. But I'm already feeling a little bit better throttle response, so it'll probably clean some gunk out of the fuel injectors. Definitely not disappointed with it. I may have to do another treatment to get all of the carbon out of the cylinders or enough of the carbon. 
carbon out to uh, get rid of the spark knock, but I think this is a good first step. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put a link into my other channel, Teenage Car Tips, if uh, that'll help you out.